Imagine looking up at the night sky. You see countless stars, but sometimes you hear people talk about asteroids, comets, or meteors. They all sound like the same thing, right? Just random space rocks flying around. But here is the truth. They are not the same at all. Each one has its own story, its own journey and its own role in the history of our solar system. So before we mix them up again, let us dive into the mystery and find out the real difference between an asteroid, a comet, and a meteoroid. You might be surprised by how these space travelers are more connected to Earth than you ever imagined. Chapter 1 Asteroid The Giants of Space Let us start with the biggest players among these three. Asteroids. Think of them as giant space rocks, leftovers from the time when our solar system was born. Billions of years ago, dust and gas came together to form planets. But not everything became a planet. Some pieces stayed behind, floating in space. Those pieces are what we now call asteroids. Most asteroids live in a place called the Asteroid Belt, a huge region between Mars and Jupiter. It is like a giant cosmic junkyard filled with rocks that never got the chance to grow into a planet. Some of them are small no bigger than a house, but others can be massive, stretching hundreds of kilometers wide. Imagine a mountain floating in space, slowly circling the sun. That is what an asteroid looks like. Asteroids are made mostly of rock and metal. Some are rich in iron and nickel, while others are covered in carbon. Scientists love studying them because asteroids carry clues about the very beginning of our solar system. In fact, they are like time capsules, holding secrets billions of years old. But there is also a danger. A large asteroid crashing into Earth could cause massive damage just like the one that is believed to have ended the age of the dinosaurs. That is why scientists keep a close eye on any asteroid that comes near our planet. They are not just ancient space rocks. They are also reminders of how fragile life on Earth can be. Now that we know what asteroids are, let us meet their icy cousins, the comets. These are not just space rocks, they are frozen travelers with tails that light up the sky. That is where we go next. Chapter 2 Comets, the Icy Travelers If asteroids are rocky giants, then comets are their icy cousins. People often call them dirty snowballs, and that is actually a pretty good description. Comets are made of rock, dust, and frozen gases like water and carbon dioxide. They spend most of their lives far away from the sun, in the cold outer regions of the solar system. But here is where it gets magical. When a comet begins its journey closer to the sun, the heat causes the ice to melt and release gas and dust. That is when a comet grows a glowing tail, sometimes stretching millions of kilometers across space. From Earth, this tail looks like a shining streak in the night sky, one of the most beautiful sights you can ever see. Unlike asteroids, which usually stay in the asteroid belt, Comets 
come from much farther away. Many of them travel from the Kuiper Belt or even the distant Oort Cloud, regions at the very edge of our solar system. That is why their orbits can take hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years to complete. Some comets only visit the inner solar system once in a lifetime. For scientists, comets are like frozen time capsules. They carry ancient materials from the early days of the solar system, untouched for billions of years. By studying comets, we can learn not only about space, but also about the building blocks of life itself. In fact, some scientists believe that comets may have delivered water and organic molecules to Earth long ago, helping life to begin. So while asteroids are rocky leftovers, comets are icy messengers from the deep. And now there is one more piece to the puzzle. What about the smaller fragments? The tiny travelers that sometimes fall to Earth? That is the story of meteoroids, which we will discover next. Chapter 3 Meteoroids The Cosmic Fragments Now that we know about asteroids and comets, it is time to talk about their smaller cousins, meteoroids. These are tiny pieces of rock or metal drifting through space. Some are broken fragments of asteroids. Others are crumbs left behind by comets. Compared to asteroids and comets, meteoroids are much smaller, usually no bigger than a boulder, and many are just the size of a pebble or even a grain of sand. But here is where things get exciting. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it burns up because of the intense heat from friction. That is what we see as a meteor, also known as a shooting star. Of course, it is not really a star at all. It is just a small piece of space rock lighting up the sky for a brief and magical moment. Sometimes, a meteoroid is big enough to survive the journey through the atmosphere and actually land on Earth. When that happens, the object is called a meteorite. People have found meteorites all over the world, and each one is like a piece of outer space delivered straight to our planet. Holding a meteorite is like holding a fragment of cosmic history in your hands. These small fragments may look less impressive than giant asteroids or glowing comets, but they are the most personal to us. After all, meteoroids are the ones that actually reach Earth. They remind us that our planet is not separate from space, but deeply connected to it. So now we can see the difference clearly. Asteroids are the rocky giants. Comets are the icy travelers with glowing tails, and meteoroids are the tiny fragments, some of which visit Earth as meteors or meteorites. Together, they are the storytellers of our solar system, each carrying secrets from billions of years ago. Epilogue The Cosmic Connection Asteroids Comets And Meteoroids may sound like small details in the universe, but together they tell the story of how our solar system was built. They are leftovers, messengers, and fragments that remind us where we come from. Every time we see a comet glow or a meteor streak across the night sky, it is like the universe whispering its ancient history to us. And maybe, by understanding these space travelers, we are also learning about our own future. Because the more we explore the cosmos, the more we realize that Earth is part of a much bigger story. One written among the stars.